Hello and welcome to our video on how to download our video class recorder and how to use it. So when we get to our videoclass.com webpage, this is our home page. You see right here to the left, we have this big little tab here that says video class recorder. We're going to click this link right here that says download VC recorder. Once we click it, you'll be redirected to the download page, and we're going to go over to the right-hand side here where it says download. Now, if you have a Windows computer, we're going to double-click this version. If you have a Mac, we're going to click this version. So, today I'm using Windows, so I'm going to double-click this page. I actually already have it downloaded on my computer, but when this screen pops up, it's going to say run, it's going to say download, and that's what you're going to do. You're going to double-click that. And once you have that finished, we have our video class recorder that's going to pop up. When this pops up, we're going to see this green square here. This green square is going to indicate what part of your screen that it's going to record. This button here would actually change the size of the recording that you wanted. You could use our web version. We actually recommend this 720. Or you could do a custom area selection, which you can actually drag your mouse over an area, and that's the area that it would record. For the time being, I'm going to keep it at that 720, and go through these options here that we have for the VC recorder. So you can use Paint, you can use PowerPoint, this is your Edit Project page. This here is actually where you can choose to have no camera, or you can choose to actually record yourself. If you do choose to record yourself, this option to the right is going to help you in adjusting the size that you want your image to be. This right here is your microphone. You can click here to select to not record any audio at all, or whatever device that you are using, you would select it. And this red button right here, of course, is the recorder button. So I'm going to show you a little bit of paint. So now when we click paint, this is the screen that's going to pop up. And once again, this green square right here, well, it's a rectangle actually. This green rectangle is going to tell you what you are actually going to be recording. So in here, you have the option of you can type hello. And once you click out of that text box, that will remain there. If you wanted to undo that, you could click this right corner where it says undo and that would go right away. If you wanted to use a pencil, you have the option to choose your color. It would come up and we can say hey. And if you decided you wanted it to be a little bit thicker, we're going to do undo again or you could actually use the eraser option and just erase that. I'm going to click the undo button to make it a little bit easier. You can use these brushes which are different ballpoints. This right here is going to give you a different length, a different thickness. See that here? That's a little bit thicker. So I'm going to undo that. Now we also have the option to add an image, which is in this left-hand corner right here. You simply click Add Image. It's going to bring you to your pictures. We're going to click that right there. You see that it puts it here on your left-hand side. It didn't automatically put it into your screen. So if you want to add that in, you just click this right arrow. You can do that, and you can actually resize it. If it's a little bit too big for you, you can actually resize in the right corner here. And bring that down. And you can move it around wherever you'd like to do it. You can leave your image in the left-hand corner. And then you could have your picture in the right-hand corner, recording yourself. And then in the rest of the, Im uh, the screen, you could be writing your lesson. All right, now, once you're finally ready to get your lesson set, you're going to hit this record button right here. It's going to give you a three, two, one countdown, and that's when you know you are recording. It's going to give you the time that you've been recording. If you want to pause it, let's say you wanted to regroup, just pause it. It's going to stay where it is. You can get rid of your image, re-change anything that you want on your screen. Then you can simply click resume and it's going to pick up where you left off. Alrighty. Do you want to stop recording? I'm going to click yes. So I want to stop recording. Once you're done recording, this screen is going to pop up where you can actually edit your video. Let's say you wanted to write 
let's say you were doing a math lesson. Math lesson. So this is your edit text. You can add text and you can actually choose here how long you want to have it come up for. So let's say I wanted to have it done for three seconds. It's only going to play for three seconds. We can actually move it around. Right now I'm going to change it, make it a little bit bigger. And you can actually change your font if you wanted to. And you can change your color as well. I'm going to do white right now. So I'm going to have that there for three seconds. Let's say I wanted to add an image. We actually provide these arrows here, which is kind of nice. And let's say I can move it around wherever I want to, and then I can decide when I want this to play. So let's say I don't want this to play for the same time that math lesson my text is playing for. So I have that for zero to three seconds. So I'm going to put that for three to five seconds. So then let's play it and we can actually see that happening. So you can hear my recording. It actually did record. And we can see that those images will play for the three seconds that you select and these two seconds here. Then you can either save your draft, save your video. Once you save your video, you can decide what you want to save it as. And you save it right there and then you can go back to it. Alright, well thanks for listening.